was really nice to see the two reprise their roles in Dumb and Dumber and I'd also say that it was really good that they played their characters to a T, you know, they got it down, it's been so long and yet they still remember how to play those characters and I really liked that, they brought them back to life but it also showed how much comedy has evolved in the two decades. This kind of comedy just doesn't exist anymore, it doesn't quite work. It's evolved, it's changed, humour has become different in films and this kind of humour just isn't current anymore. You know, you can watch people like the Monty Python gang and you go, this is still funny, this still lives, it's timeless, but this kind of slapstick, just stupid humour, you know, pushing people into hedges and fart jokes and toilet humour, just to me is dead. So I just found that it was difficult to watch. I think the main problem is, and the main focus of this review, just lies within one sentence, and that is, this sequel was made too late. You know, looking back, I'm from the generation that would watch Dumb and Dumber on VHS constantly until it started going all blurry and making that noise, you know, like, hello, how are you? <laughs> I used to watch VHS that much until the point where it would get jammed in the, in the machine and you're like, no, what do I do now? That's the generation I come from and I remember watching Dumb and Dumber constantly and then going off and quoting it with your friends and everyone knew the lines and acted like Harry and Lloyd and that is the generation I come from. I'm not the generation when it came out in the cinema but I am the VHS generation. <laughs> so the point I'm making is this isn't happening in this film because I'm not going to go quote it, I'm not going to act like Harry and Lloyd because this kind of comedy is dated and the main point that I'm making is the film is extremely forgettable. So as much as it was great to see Jeff Daniels and Jim Carrey on screen again playing these characters, reliving them, bringing them back to screen for the VHS generation, it just should have been left. If anything, all they've gone and done is spoil the original film.